Welcome back. We've now learned about how using the pronoun O leads to the translation of wine as who, and no leads to the translation as whom. Let us look at how wine is used to express whose. There are two ways of doing this. The first one is wine blank. Wine blank translates as whose blank. For example, wine din is used to ask the question, whose name? For example, wine din is, is used to ask the question, whose name? And wine papa is used to ask the question, whose papa? Wine pie is used to ask the question, whose house? Let's look at a few more questions. We're going to use this and fuller questions now. The first question is Wine Huya Na Osuya Adie Wo Iwa. The second question is Wine Papa Na Ofri Gainesville, Jacksonville. The third question is Wine Adampo Na Yefri No Kusi. The fourth question is Wine Fie Na Ewo Gainesville. Wine Nuya means whose siblings. Because it's at the beginning of the sentence, it is followed by Na. Um, Osuya Adie Wo Uf means he or she studies at Uf. Placing Wine Nuya before it gives us whose who gives us whose sibling studies at UF. For the next sentence, Swain Papa is asking whose father. And it is followed by Na. Na. Ofri Jacksonville. He or she comes from Jacksonville. So when you put Swain Papa Na in front of Ofri Jacksonville, you get whose father comes from Jacksonville. For this one, Wine Adampo, whose friend, and you have to add na after it. Ye friend no kusi means they call him kusi. So when you put wine adampo in front of wine adampo na in front of ye free no kusi, you have the question whose friend do they call kusi? For Hwain Fie, whose house, you put na afterwards. And then, it will Gainesville. It is located in Gainesville. So if you put that all together, you have whose house is located in Gainesville.